verify whether the following are zero of the polynomial indicated against them. So we have p of x which is equal to x square minus one. It's in a standard form and the negative one is you know not with the variable so nothing to worry over here. All we have to do is put x is equal to one. So one square minus one which is nothing but zero. So this is a zero of the polynomial because one square minus one is zero itself, right? And p of x is equal to minus one, we have minus one the whole square, minus one. So this is plus one minus one, which is zero again. So in both of these cases, we are getting the output to be zero. So we can tell as p of x being equal to one and p of x minus one, are both equal to zero this implies x is equal to one and minus one are zero of p of x so let's look at this graphically this is your expression so let's execute this okay so let's zoom in let me kind of put it in this way so that it's better to discuss yeah Actually, this is a better graph. Mm. Okay, let me take a snapshot of this so that you guys are not confused. The same thing. But anyways, let me not confuse you guys. Yeah. Now, we know that this is your y axis. That's where we have your p of x. And this is your x axis. So for an output of zero, what should be the input? For that, I need to trace along the horizontal. So this and this are the point wherein the graph is crossing. So, so the corresponding x axis is minus one and plus one, right? That's what we got. So zero of the polynomial means that input value, which makes the output to be zero. So graphically, you can have a look at the zero by adjusting your graph. So if we do this, so you can clearly see this particular graph is crossing the x-axis at minus one and plus one. And so minus one and plus one are your zeros. Got it? So input value which makes output to be zero are your zeros of the polynomial. Okay? Right? So this is your answer. So pause and have a look. Please enroll to our program at chalkpiececademy.com wherein we'll be teaching you a lot more tricks for faster simplification calculation, uh, DIY projects, we'll code with Python, we'll work with Arduino Uno, there are a lot more magic tricks and the physics behind it. There are printable materials which will help you recap and understand things better. We'll have live revision and doubt session two months before your term exams. It's very cost effective. There would be no ads or any kind of distractions and we have a dedicated app to help you guys with this.